welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a nail polish haul that I am very excited about. It's a brand that I've never tried before and it's Deborah Lipman. I purchased these off of Hot Look because I've never tried the brand before. It was discounted and they had a lot of minis to choose from so I was very excited about that because I don't like to commit to a full bottle if I'm not going to be in love with the, the brand and the formula. So. I have to say, I kind of love the brand. Uh, most of these are minis with the exception of two. Two of them are full size. Um, the colors are phenomenal, great range of colors, and I'm just going to jump into the swatches for you. The first one is this beautiful nude color. Now at first glance, it looks like it's going to be like a nude cream, but it's not a white base polish. It's more on the sheer side, so it's actually really pretty. It is opaque in two coats but it doesn't have that white undertone, so it's really wearable because I, I feel sometimes with the nudes when they're too white, they look weird when they, you know, after a couple of days of wear, so I really like this one a lot. And it is called, here's the actual bottle, it's called Fashion, and here's the bottle here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I used it the other day as an undie for another color. But um, I really, really like it a lot. It's really gorgeous. The next color is so pretty. It is um, whatever Lola wants. And it is a pearly color. Now, I normally don't like pearly colors. I feel that they're a little too mature for me, um, as you know, for like maybe a more mature person. But um, this one is beautiful. It is like a sheer pearl color. It's more of like a champagne tan pearl color so beautiful. Here's what it looks like swatched. Um, you can see that it's very sheer. It doesn't have, you know, a lot of opacity to it, but it's really pretty on its own. You can use it as a topper for other polishes. It's really, really gorgeous. So I like that one a lot as well. The next one, and I haven't tried it yet, but um, I've actually worn like several of these already. I've actually been switching my polish up every day because I'm like obsessed with them. The next one is Good Girl Gone Bad. And this one's really pretty. It's a kind of wine color with lots of silver glitter in it. It's so pretty. I love it. I want it to focus in really well. See, there we go. It is so pretty. This is a really great color for the fall. Uh, here's what it looks like swatched. It's two coats here, and it's this one right here. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of like a wine kind of shimmer color. Very, very pretty. Uh, the next one is, and I've worn this one, and this one is absolutely stunning. It's a jelly base. It's kind of like almost a very inky, dark purple jelly base, but it's very opaque, even though it's a jelly, and it's called Let's Go Crazy, and it has kind of um, glitter in it. It's got round glitter in it, and it's kind of like rainbow. It's got silver, green, red, gold, blue. There's just a whole bunch of different colors, and um, it's really pretty. The purple is just actually, it's really stunning too. I haven't found one so far yet out of all the ones that I've tried that I don't like. Um, I use that one as an accent, and here's what it looks like. Swatch two coats. See how opaque the jelly is, even though it's a jelly? It's so beautiful in two coats. And the glitter in it, you can actually see a lot of the glitter in it. It's like that jelly sandwich effect, you know, where you keep layering it and you see like the dimension in it. That's gorgeous. The next one is called 99 Left Balloons, and that's that song. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll insert a little clip for a second if I can, but um, it's really pretty. It is also a jelly base, but it's a more sheer jelly base, and it's red, and it has the same glitter in it, you know, all the rainbow glitter particles, gold, silver, blue, green, etc. Here's what it looks like in the bottle. It's a very beautiful glitter, and here is what it looks like swatched with two coats. You can see how the jelly is more sheer than the other one, but it's really pretty. It's a fun color. It's definitely a fun color. The next one is a gorgeous, like kind of fuchsia color, and it's called Between the Sheets. 
and here's what it looks like in the bottle. It's a really pretty cream. It's a very opaque cream too. You could probably get away with one coat if you, you know, really wanted to. I swatch everything in two coats. And here it is here, swatched on the wheel. In the, the viewfinder, it looks like it's coming up a little more red, but it is a beautiful kind of deep fuchsia cream. It's really, really pretty. I like that. The formula on this one too is phenomenal as well as this one. The formula on this one was insanely great also, and it's called It's Raining Men. <laughs> um, and it's, you know, just a really pretty bright red, almost coral, but it is a red. It's leaning a little coral, and it's beautiful. It's like that perfect red, you know, if you want to wear it on your toes. It works all year round. You can do this for summer, for Christmas, you know, the holidays. It's a very bright, corally red. And here's what it looks like swatched on the wheel, right here. So gorgeous, love that. And then the next one is this one here. And it's called Through the Fire. And this is another really pretty one. This is very similar to the wine color, which was called um, Good Girl Gone Bad, but it's more on a red side. It has that same shimmery effect. It's very kind of metallic-y shimmery. And it's called Through the Fire. And here's what it looks like in the bottle. So gorgeous. And this one swatched out beautiful as well. Very, very pretty, very opaque. And here is what it looks like on the wheel right here. Look at how gorgeous that is. That is just, it's so stunning in person too. Beautiful, beautiful color. That's really gonna be nice in the winter. Uh, let's see, the next one is one of my favorites because I'm all about the gold bling. It's called um, Boom Boom Pow and it is a gold glitter. It's in a clear base and it's multi-size glitters. It's micro glitters, it's got larger round glitters. It is so beautiful and it's a topper. You're not really gonna get opaque with it, you know, opacity with this. Maybe if you do three or four coats, which I don't like to do because it's just way too much polish, but this is really pretty to wear over other colors. And here's what it looks like swatched on the nail wheel. You can see how it's got that clear base, but there's micro shimmer in it that is just stunning. It's so pretty. It's gonna look good over, you know, even like a color like this. You can even, I mean, you can literally put it over any, any nail polish and it's gonna look beautiful. All right, so the next one after that, and this is one of my favorite colors of all time. I love this color because I have it in so many different brands. It's just so pretty. It's like that Robin's A color and it's called Flowers in Her Hair. And here's what it looks like in the bottle. And it's like that beautiful Robin's Egg, kind of minty, kind of, it's just gorgeous. I love this color. Here's what it looks like swatched on the wheel. Two coats, very opaque. It's a beautiful, very opaque polish. Uh, I love that. I actually used it the other day, one coat of this under Mermaid Stream, which I'm gonna get to right now. And this is one that I'm sure most people have heard of. It's, you know, one of the most popular, I think, Deborah Lipman polishes, especially during its first, you know, initial release. And, you know, it's called Mermaid's Dream. And here's what it looks like in the bottle. This is such a beautiful color. It is a kind of teal green kind of blue color. Uh, it has multi-dimensional or multi-size um, glitters. It's got micro glitters, it's got larger glitters, it's got blue, it's got just so many things going on that you can't even pick up on. You can see like the micro gold glitter in it. It's just gorgeous. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, it's not fully opaque in two coats. It is to an extent, but you can still see that it's not fully opaque. You'll see here in the swatch. So here's the swatch right here, and you can see how beautiful that looks. The base color of this, though, is a little more in the sheer side, so you do get that like texture, and you do get um, not full opacity, but it's really pretty. That's why I put it this. What um, I put one coat of this um, and one coat of this, and it looked beautiful. So. Really like that. So now those were all my minis. Now I did get these additional two in full size because I fell in love with them. They were gorgeous. So the first one is called, and there's my daughter laughing. The first one is called Daydream Believer. Brace yourself. All right, let's get this. Okay, do you see this? 
How gorgeous is this nail polish? It is kind of a pinky nude jelly base with kind of, I think almost like opalescent micro glitter with diamonds. You see the little diamond glitter in there? There's blue, there's holographic silver. I mean, there is so much going on in here. I think there's about three different size glitter in here. When I saw this, I knew I had to have it. Here's what it looks like swatched on the wheel. Now the thing is, this one is a jelly kind of base. It is sheer. This is two coats, but you have to keep in mind that the wheel is white. So it's going to look more opaque than it really is. What I did was I layered it over Fashion, the nude one, the first one. So I took Fashion and then I put a coat of this over. Actually, I put two coats of this over because I wanted that depth of um, the layering, the sandwich effect. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous nail polish. I can't stress how beautiful it is, and it wore really well, too. Now, the last one that I got, and I saw this, and this is like the inner kind of like 80s Guido in me. <laughs> I had to have this, though. It is called Flash Dance. How appropriate. I didn't even know that was the name of it. Totally 80s. Flash Dance is a, I can't even, I, I can't even pick it up in the camera. Here we go. It is a purple polish with like magenta and silver kind of micro glitter. Not even silver, it's like magenta glitter. I don't, it's just so packed with gorgeous, shimmery goodness. Here's what it looks like swatched on the wheel. It is incredible in person. Like, I don't even think I can get my camera to pick up how gorgeous this is. Look at that. that it, it's just so pretty. I love that one. So. These were my nail polishes. I actually, I can't believe I got so many. I wasn't planning on it and I just kept like adding more to my cart and I was like, oh. All right, so here are the polishes all on the nail wheel. So um, they start here, they go all the way around. Uh, I love them all. I have to say, if you've never tried Deborah Lipman, it's a brand that you should try. I love every single color. There isn't one that I don't like. So. Definitely um, try a polish. Try one or two of them. See if you like them. I can't speak highly enough about them. So anyway, thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.